This video will show you how to add a managed athlete to your account, register that athlete for a virtual meet, and then submit results for the athlete. So what's a managed athlete? A managed athlete is an athlete whose registrations are controlled by another athletic.net account. The managed athlete function is primarily for parents whose children are too young to have their own athletic.net account, since you must be 13 to have your own account. However, parents may list their children as managed athletes regardless of their age. Additionally, a manager may submit virtual results on behalf of a managed athlete. For more information, visit support.athletic.net and view the Adding a Managed Athlete to Your Account article. The first step in getting your managed athlete registered for a virtual meet is to download the new Athletic app. All results submissions for virtual events take place within Athletic app. Once you download the app, log in to your existing athletic.net account. If you don't have an athletic.net account, tap New User and choose one of the sign-up options. Once you're logged in, tap the bell icon to enter the notifications section. This area is the heart of virtual meets in Athletic App. Next, you'll choose the meet you're registering your managed athlete for. Choose Virtual Events from the top of the screen and tap on Find a Virtual Event. You'll be taken to your device's web browser and the athletic.net website. If you aren't already logged into the website, you'll need to log in again using the sign-in icon. You'll be shown a list of virtual events taking place on the current day and in the future. You can use the search box to search for a meet name, or if you know the meet takes place on a certain date, tap the date to bring up a calendar view. Once you find the meet you're looking for, tap the meet name to expand the listing. You can see which athlete types are eligible to register for this meet, as well as the date range during which the meet takes place. This date range is the submission window. Attempts must be submitted during this time in order to be included in the results. Next, we'll need to add a new managed athlete. You'll only have to follow this procedure once per athlete. Once the athlete is added, you'll be able to register them quickly for future meets. At the bottom of the meet listing, you'll see one or more names as well as more registration options. Once you add the athlete as a managed athlete, the athlete will be listed here for quick meet registration. To add an athlete, choose More Registration Options. On the Meet Registration page, choose Add Athlete. If the athlete you're going to manage has a USATF number, enter it here. Using the athlete's USATF number will pull all of the athlete's information directly from USATF and you can simply hit Add. If your athlete doesn't have a USATF number, choose Not USATF and enter the athlete's first name, last name, birth date, and gender. Then tap Add. After tapping OK on the confirmation screen, the registration page will be reloaded to include your new managed athlete. Now that you've got the managed athlete added to your account, let's get them registered for a virtual meet. First, choose Add Meet to the Athlete's Calendar. Depending on the meet, you may be asked to choose the athlete's grade or age. Make the appropriate selections and then choose Save. On the following screen, you'll choose the division and events that your managed athlete will be competing in. There may be some instructions or meet rules listed. Below that, choose a division if necessary and then choose the events. Tap on each event you'd like to register your managed athlete for. If you make a mistake, tap on the event again to deselect it. As you select events, you'll receive notifications from Athletic App requesting results submissions. You can tap on the notification or switch back to Athletic App to submit results. Now that we've gotten the managed athlete added to our account and the athlete is registered for the meet, how do we submit results? A brief side note, it is possible for an athlete to have multiple managers. In our example here, both Oliver's father and mother could potentially list him as a managed athlete. For the purposes of virtual meets, the manager who was logged into the website when Oliver was registered will need to be logged into Athletic App to submit results. In other words, if Dad is the one who registered Oliver for the meet, then Mom can't submit results using her copy of Athletic App. It will have to be Dad. Results submission takes place from within Athletic App, so the first step is to return to the app to do so. 
From within Athletic App, return to the Virtual Events tab on the notification screen. You'll see the meet you registered your athlete for, along with the submission window. Tap on the meet to see all events you selected, as well as some other options pertaining to the meet. Choosing the event page will take you back to the registration section. You can edit event selections using this link if you find a mistake. Tapping on an event will bring up the results submission screen for that event. Enter the mark, a comment if desired, and the evidence of the attempt, then tap Submit. After you tap Submit, you can go back to the meet listing on the notifications page and view the results post as well as the full results as they currently stand for the virtual meet. Results are updated in real time as submissions come in and are only finalized once the submission window closes. Submitting a result requires that you submit some sort of evidence for the mark. Depending on the event, that might be a video of the attempt, a photo of a GPS recorded run, or a combination of these. While virtual meet organizers may have their own requirements for what consists of acceptable evidence for a mark, here are some general recommendations. If you're submitting a mark for a short run, meaning a run less than a mile, or for a field event, submit a video of the attempt. For running events, it's good practice to have a running stopwatch visible on the screen while recording. For field events, it's good practice to show both the attempt and the measurement in the same video. If you're submitting a mark for a longer run, greater than one mile, use the record run feature in Athletic App. This will allow you to select a distance and then automatically record a GPS track of the run, including correctly recording the time when your athlete hits the preset distance. Alternatively, you can upload a screenshot of another run recording device's log showing the time and distance. Each result you submit will appear as a post on the Meet's results feed. Posts made on behalf of managed athletes will appear like this, with an indication that the post was made for the athlete by their manager. Finally, remember to choose events that you can safely complete while still respecting any facility closures in your area. Running events can just as easily be completed in your neighborhood and most field events in your backyard. For shorter distances where precision matters, you can easily use mapping software with satellite view to measure distances based off of landmarks on your street. We hope you'll join us in our efforts to get kids of all ages competing in this new type of event from wherever they are.